Things just got a lot more gorgeous. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Tyler Breeze. One of the true building blocks of NXT. He's competed in countless NXT main events and held the NXT Tag Team titles. My sources tell me he's unbeatable in GM mode. Maybe he can give you some fashion tips, Byron. Byron, you're an uggo. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's not cool. Why would you say something like that? Because it's true. I have sources. You have lies. And his opponents, first from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs. A muscle-bound musician. Yeah, Rick Boogs, he gets shredded in the gym when he's not shredding on guitar. On. What do you see in this guy, Saxton? Boogs is just like a big doofus. Oh, just lighten up, Corey. How about you try rocking out? Yeah. The WWE fans on their feet and loving it. I'm loving it too. Totally right this rock it out with boobs. Byron, never say that again. You can't stop me. You just need to hear more of his music, Corey. Can we cut his mic, please? Yeah, holding it down for the Street Profits. Swag meter off the charts, boys. Saxton, what do you know about swag? That's good you didn't answer, so I can talk about Dawkins, who backs up his confidence with top-level wrestling skills. And... Representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins always walking with confidence, always down to throw hands, and all about that smoke. Well, the one thing with Angelo Dawkins is that he always has a lot to say, but always brings his A-game to back it up. No disqualifications in this matchup. What does that mean for these superstars? Well, this is the type of match where superstars really show their true colors or give a free reign to be as aggressive and ruthless as they desire. It means someone's leaving an ambulance. That's what no disqualification means. Oh, did you hear that? Ooh, stiff punch. It misses on the springboard. Set up. Side rush and leg sweep. Hooked up. Ah, oh, shin breaker. 
one scouted. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Comes back into the ring. And he has an answer for Breeze. And out of the ring he... Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just a superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Emphatic follow in there. And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. Flipping the script on him there. Slips out of the way. Return fire for Boogs. Dominating shoulder tap. He's got him down. Is this it? Running interference. Whoa, leaping through the air. Jaw shattering boot. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extender elbow. Brief crafting attack. Suplex brings him down. Two. Oh, he kicked out. The end was in sight. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. Into the cover. And he breaks up the pin, and the match continues. Look at this outrageous power by Rick Boogs. And a drop. Oh, uh, here's the power. The absolute power of Rick Boogs. And delivering the Boogs. Boogs. Boogs might just have it. Oh, he kicked out. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing oh, it's the beauty shot. Can that finish Boogs? Hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Dawkins, and he could be done very soon. 
Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Sit straight into the barricade. <laughs> oh, he's got him up high. The follow-away slam. Oh, man. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Their opponent puts hard into the Ooh. corner by the clothesline. And a rolling neck snap. Breeze has him marked. Not the position you want to be in right now. Less than a second to stay alive there. It's that time in the match where we all take a trip. Boogs cruise. Boogs with a game ender. Oh, he counters right back on Boogs. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Tyler Breeze. Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special athlete. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Hardcore Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam Champion. This man has done it all and he has absolutely no fear.
There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right, if AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think mean, LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And his opponents, first from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Well, I knew the day would come when the entire WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. in WWE. Oh, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Three tough competitors in this triple threat. In the ring, we see AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Bobby Lashley. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have for yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. No tell. 
Kelly, what's underneath the ring tonight? Oh. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick. And I do not care for it. Oh. Lashley caught by surprise. Oh my God, look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. When it's everybody for themselves, sometimes you just have to do what's needed to get the job done. There's common enemies everywhere. The Almighty can impose his will by just giving the look he's displaying right now. Tossed into the corner. Keep coming. 
And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Setting them up. This is going to be nasty. The burning hammer. Nice hip toss. And the impact charge night and late going. AJ showing that ruthless pit bull mentality. He's very dangerous right now. Can't quite get him there. Lashley is unable to stop any attack. This has to feel demoralizing for Bobby. Knight caught by surprise. Momentum isn't completely out of AJ's side just yet. But Styles still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. You can begin. Shoulders down. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. was three. Right, he gets back into the ring. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? <laughs> He's got him scouted. Belly to belly suplex. Set him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Oh, what a counter. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, and that'll break his arm. Vicious. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. A club with a right forearm. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Oh, oh, geez. Take all the wind out of you. And a counter. A counter by Styles. Styles looking for it. There it is. Would oh, pay off for Styles. He stops the count. Vicious right for him. And he saw that coming from Knight. are sharp in this series of reversals. Surprise! And he's out of there in a nick of time. LA is showing his opponent takes a ride on the gravy train. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Targeting the arm to great effect. Three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Here is your winner, L.A. Nice. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three superstars just showed us all why.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the 24-7 Championship! Look at the size of this man. Seven foot, three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. You want to talk about how dominant Omos has been already at his WWE career? This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. All hail the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Santos Escobar, a cruiserweight who creates controversy. Here he began his WWE career in a tournament to become cruiserweight yeah! champion. After he won it, he unmasked and formed Legado del Fantasma. Which was surprising because luchadors protect their mask with their life. Discarding it is disrespectful to lucha tradition. Listen, Escobar is the emperor of lucha libre. He's redefining lucha tradition. He decides what's disrespectful. Introducing the challenger from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! And his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the 24-7 champion, Santos. The ref holding this title longer than you did, Saxton. temporarily suspended during this 24-7 championship defense. Yeah, no sneaking up on the chain like you always try to do, Saxton. Hey, it worked once. An unyielding showing of authority, no two ways about it. Strong for him. with a clubbing strike. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, man, right 
right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Worried look on the face of Escobar. Yeah, Santos has run into a roadblock. Off the ropes. Ooh, well measured. Trying to find a way out, using his power to escape. He's heading back to the ring. He's going for it all. From way up, fought back with a punch to a gut. Corey, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. Even if there's no good answer, how do you possibly beat Omas? <laughs> it's all right, Cole. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't try to think of something. Omos is a physical marvel, but he's also inexperienced. He also doesn't know all the tricks. He doesn't know all the little things that win titles and earn main events. Stay light on your feet. Exploit the inexperience. Maybe then you'll have a shot. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He skirts around it. Slam down. Two. Holy, meet the barricade. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Draped across the barricade. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Oh, Moss with great awareness. Six. Re entering the ring now. Seven. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Looking wobbly in the corner. Things went from bad to worse. Bad situation here. And it's about to get worse from the middle row. Gut buster for the title. Almost two and a half. That was a long two count there. Stop after stop after stop. This Hold on a second. I was worried about this happening. Superstars waiting for him. Where's he at? Oh, oh, there he is. And I can see some blood coming from the face of Reggie. Escobar. Another one bites the dust to the champ. to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Attack on the knee. 
Santos falling victim to an on rush now. Omos has it. Hoist it up. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the lengths these superstars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. From the top, that one fails to land. It's the mark. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Omas with an epic choke slam. Now a pin for the championship. Oh, the champ survives. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? To retain the title. He got the shoulder up in time. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Uh-oh. Surprised that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. He got whipped into that corner. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Sharp right hand. I am not liking the looks of this at all. Well, that makes one of us. This is great. Landslide. The champ will stay champ. And the champ adds to their legacy. And here's another peek of the moves you saw in that match. Here is your winner, and still, the 24-7 champion, Santos Escobar. When you earn a win like that, you've got to feel pretty good about yourself. No doubt about it, support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe.